are fighting endemic injustice against Igbos by government, colonial, colonial powers. I hope. Welcome to the news. And please subscribe to our channel to be the first to get notified when we'll drop hot, juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Thank you. The leader of the Indig indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob, on Friday said the purpose of each struggle is to end the endemic injustice perpetrated against the harmless and peace-loving people of Biafra by the Nigeria state in collaboration with the colonial powers. You see this thing, eh? this particular issue. I said it's somebody that if you look at these people well, let us even look at this from the depth, in-depth level. That means let us find the root cause of this problem. Because the surface problem is now calling them terrorists, prescribing them as a terrorist group, and going there to, you know, use Indabuski to fight Indabuski. I've said it before previously that, fine, do you know what caused this particular problem from the beginning? Go back to in the beginning, as in in the beginning of the beginning. Find the root cause of a problem. That is where you are going to be able to solve it properly. Not just giving it a surface and give them the presidency. No. This group, in my own opinion, I have a very strong opinion that today, today, if dialogue is called, I keep calling that dialogue because dialogue is the solution. To me, it is. And I know it will solve the problem. If, di if dialogue is called today and everybody comes together, state your differences, you will hear that what they are even saying is not uh, we want to go. Yes, they are saying we want to go because they have scried and they have screamed out their lungs. And the government, what did the government do? It's like the more they cry marginalization, the government marginalized them the more. The more they cry oppression, the, the more the government oppress them. So they're now saying, you know what? We no longer want to stay. We want to leave. If the government now call them and say, uh -uh, okay, come and sit down. Let's discuss. What exactly is the problem? Why are you leaving? Or why do you want to leave? uh -huh. It is not going to bring a room of air. This is why we are leaving now because this has been happening for a very long time and nobody has been looking into the issue. Everybody will state their differences. You will now hear from, from all angles what exactly is the problem. Then you will not, it's not even give you a better way to solve it. It is why you understand a particular problem that you can give it a solution or you can get the solution. Let's say, for instance, you don't understand the problem. You will never get the solution to that particular problem. There is no two ways about it. Okay, the news in detail, please stay with us. The leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra are up on Friday said the purpose of its struggle is to end endemic injustice perpetrated against the harmless and peace-loving people of Biafra by the Nigerian state in collaboration with the colonial powers. The group said that in a statement by its medium publicity secretary, a more powerful in a Bakaleke Ebony state. The statement said the struggle for Biafra liberation is a fight against endemic injustice perpetrated against the harmless and peace loving people of Biafra by the Nigeria state in collaboration with colonial powers. Yet to forgive Biafra for championing the Nigerian independence in 1960. Because of the prominent roles of Biafrans who championed the Nigerian independence struggles, so IPOM has been in the forefront of this struggle for the liberation of our people, and we must achieve it by the grace of God Almighty, Chukwu, Chukwu Abiyama, who is in heaven. Our aim is to end the marginalization and humiliation of our people, to restore their human dignity and hope, and to give them a country where they can live in peace and fulfill destiny. Well, thank you for recognizing that there was a massacre of the people of the Southeast in 1966, which Nigeria had been covering up by removing history from the Nigeria academic curriculum of primary and secondary schools since 1973. This crafty manipulation is simply because they do not want the world to know the evil they committed against the innocent citizens of Biafra. I put the exposed atrocities of Nigerian state, Biafra, and brought it to the knowledge of the world. Today, everybody is now talking about the atrocities committed against the people of eastern Nigeria during the war from 1967 to 1917. Self-determination is not a crime, but the rights of the people to agitate for freedom. Our struggle for independence is not a declaration of war as mischievously misconstrued by the enemies. 
We only want to be free from oppression and subjugation. We want to be free from political exclusion and economic strangulation. We want to be free from mass slaughter by those who value cows above human lives. If the atrocities and unprovoked attack against Biafra by Nigeria, and in particular the Fulani jihadists, were to be done to any country in Europe or Asia, do you think the world would have kept quiet? We do not know why the world has continued to watch the ongoing genocide against the innocent people of Biafra by a Nigerian state and, say, non-state actors. When we agitate peacefully, they slaughter us the more, and those who are lucky to be arrested alive are dumped in various secret cells in the north and abandoned. Yet, the same double-faced government is busy freeing arrested Fulani bandits and terrorists, killing innocent indigenous Nigerians in their numbers. IPOB remains a peaceful movement seeking freedom for the oppressed people of Biafra and those who do not know what we are doing are busy blackmailing us. But for the fact is that the movement for the emancipation of Biafra is beyond any single individual, including our leader, Mazin Namdekano. It is now a global movement that cannot be stopped by any man born of a woman. It is a divine project that must be completed, the group said. Hmm. So they, they want to tell me that the reason they removed history, my favorite subject from the academy. No, I've always said it that I love history. I do not understand why it has been removed. Sincerely, that means we, it should be one of our criteria. Or somebody that will come and show our children history. Yes, I'm saying this not because of hatred, but I'm saying it so that we can move past it. You cannot um, move past um, something that is hurting someone. It's not possible. Let's say, for instance, you know, I love using scenarios. You are married and to your partner, and you hurt her so deeply, or you hurt him so deeply. Do you think it is going to be possible for him to move past? It's not possible. If you don't get to talk about it, you will see that wound. If anything touches it, it will bleed. It will just be like a wound that, it, that you have to treat bukashon. And how many times do you have to be careful about a particular wound? What others are freely living their life happily, you are, ah, I don't want this thing to touch. It is better you treat it. So if you don't treat this particular in, um, incident or event, it is going to keep making these people hearts bleed. So it is high time everybody comes together and says, you know what? You know what? This and this and this and this and this. That is just it. That is it. It's just a matter of time. The greatest song will ever known to man will arise, and the nation of the world shall bow at her feet. Hmm. Long live peace shall, shall ye give to the offspring, abundant productivity and wealth creation shall be your identity. Sons of men from the ends of the earth shall behold thy mightiness and celebrate you. Hmm. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.